How can this empty swimming pool help you get more clients this week? Curious? Then stick around because in the next few minutes I'm about to reveal to you one of those powerful client attracting lessons I ever learned and it can help you get more clients this week. I'm Bernadette Doyle and for the last 16 years I've been helping people like you to get clients online grow your business and attract clients with ease. And this lesson I learned was right at the start of my career when I was on holiday in Lanzarote. Now since then, I have gone on to make millions in my own business. I've helped others to do the same, but this lesson was a really powerful part, played a powerful part in helping me do that. So how this came about was, I was on holiday in Lanzarote and I was staying at a place called Club La Santa, which is a sports resort. And it was around lunchtime and the night before there'd been quite a big party on the resort and an aerobics instructor was due to teach an aqua aerobics class. So I saw her turn up at the pool, but to be honest, people seemed a bit tired that day and I didn't think she was going to have a massive turnout. So when 12 o'clock came, the pool was empty, there was no sign of anybody coming to do the class and she literally walked over to her uh, stereo system and I assumed that she was going to turn it off. And to my surprise, she cranked up the volume, full tilt, turned around to the empty swimming pool and then started calling out instructions to the class. And at first I was a bit embarrassed for her because I thought that must be really humiliating. There she is, she's got no one there in, in with her and yet here she is doing the class. And then after a few seconds of that, my sort of cringing feeling turned to actually respect and admiration because I thought this is really impressive. She's been booked to do this class and as far as she's concerned, she's so showing up to do the class no matter what. She's not waiting for the audience to show up. Well, she carried on calling out the instructions and before too long, she'd attracted a couple of curious onlookers. They entered the pool and by the end of her class, she finished with 10 people. And the reason I thought this was such a powerful example is I've seen so many people over the years say, well, I can't show up until my audience show shows up. I can't book the venue. I can't set the date. I can't take the action because I need to know that there's going to be a crowd already by an audience. It's a little bit like we don't want to throw a party at the risk that no one's going to show up. But what she taught me is if we are serious about our clients showing up, then we have to show up first. Now, I am aware that right now in the times we're in, you might not be able to show up in person at a physical venue, but there's so many ways to show up. You can show up online. You can show up on a video like this. You can show up in a Facebook group. You can figure out where your audience is and, and reach out to them. There's always a way to show up. So I hope this example has inspired you and got you thinking about how you can show up for your clients today. Make no mistakes, if you want clients to show up, then you need to show up first.